Hey everyone, it's Byron again. I'm here to testify for Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to have a very narrow focus. I want to basically define a word, how it shows up in the King James Version, and talk about some things about the United States. And I'm going to be taking Jeremiah 50 verse, and I don't have that right available, verse 38. And, and the verse is, a drought is upon her, and it's talking about Babylon, a drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. And they are mad upon their idols is the, the area that I want to focus on. Now, there's a lot in Jeremiah 50. I'm going to try to leave it alone. I've done a bunch of things about the United States being Babylon, and there's some other things that I saw in looking at this right here. But what I wanted to propose to you is I wanted to propose to you to, to take the word mad. You can look at it yourself. I've looked at it. I mean, I've looked at it in the uh, Strong's Concordance. I've looked at it in um, the Noah Webster's 1828 Dictionary. And I also looked at it in a um, some type of urban type dictionary that I found online. And what I've come to understand for me, and, and this is something that I, I believe you can take to the bank, is the word mad in this case means you're very uh, you love it you're 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 just, I, I'm just mad about it and it's talking about idols the people in Babylon the people in mystery Babylon United States they're mad about their idols and I've talked about idols a lot I've talked about the Church of Thyatira I believe that is most of the churches in the United States the condition of the churches and people have been led to the point of committing fornication, spiritual fornication against the Lord. And they are occupying their idle time with idols of their heart. Uh, Ezekiel 14. And having very little time for the Lord. And the Lord is not going to allow that to occur all time there is an end to that and it's coming for christians in the united states um and i talked my last video something about a couple of videos ago was something about be the remnant and i am trying to encourage people to shed how you've been taught how you've been led astray by the shepherds that are currently teaching in churches and put aside all the idols and the idols can be a graven image um like someone from say a, a pagan religion would have i can tell you that the the um the statue of liberty is an idol for some people there's other type idols you can find that are just literally graven images but you also have these idols of the heart and you could just sit here and name them um uh, well i just i'm in love with uh, football i'm in love with basketball i'm in love with baseball oh gosh i just can't stay away from my boat and, and anything that is going to take up your your time you could call it leisure time or whatever that would take you away from the lord and you can go to psalm chapter one i believe david is talking about uh meditating on the the law day and night i'm not, I'm not saying you stop living i'm just saying what the united states has come to is absolutely ridiculous not only in the lord's side but in my side as well. I, I struggle to find someone that, that fulfills the role of a Christian according to the scriptures. I, I really do. So I just wanted to say people in Babylon, people in the United States, they're mad upon their idols. And if you go Daniel-ish, <laughs> somewhere in Daniel, and I'll put it on the screen for you. That way I can just keep talking. But the whole world was made drunk or mad I believe it's words to that effect by mystery babylon so i i, I may be wrong there but if it's if it's on the screen like it is and it matches what i just said we're cool anyway this is a very difficult subject not only to to talk about but to execute in one's life i was raised in a baptist church southern baptist church and and in Southern Baptist churches, I kid you not, you drive up to the church listening to anything that's on the radio, such as, uh, ooh, baby, I love your ways or whatever like that, you know, stuff that back a long time ago. 
Uh, Baby Come Back, I remember that from a long time ago. Uh, Player was the name of that group. Um, you, you have secular stuff going on in your head all day, and it leads you to the, um, the song, your head is humming and it won't go. So all day you have these things pumped into your head. You just love them. You can't get away from them. And at the end of the day, you might find time to pray and maybe tell the Lord, help me to do better tomorrow because I showed him to keep myself separated from the world today. My son and I, we discuss a whole lot. We talked about this today. We've talked about this probably for the last two years. And breaking away, coming out from among the people of Babylon, it is difficult. But I truly believe, I, tr I, I, I absolutely, with all my heart, soul, and strength, I believe that when you deal with the church of Thyatira, which is going to go into great tribulation. Uh, you're dealing with a church that is committing fornication, and that fornication could be various things, but it definitely includes idolatry, and you could put in there idols of the heart, not something that's made out of stone that sits in your backyard and you bow down to it or anything like that. It is something that you spent your time with as if it were an idol sitting out there in your heart instead of with the Lord. That, that sounds... I mean. It, that sounds very harsh, very strict. But I, I can tell you this. There have been periods of time in my life, and currently I am trying to, you know, get back to where I have been. There have been times in my life when all I did, for the most part, was meditate on the Scripture, uh, read the Bible, pray to God, give me understanding. And there, and there was back and forth communication between the Lord and I. And that's what I'm going to tell you it exists. And that's what I, I am just sending out just so people will know uh, when these things come about, why they came about. So anyway, um, I'm going to let you go. I try to keep that narrow in focus. Mad about their idols. You know, you could say after a couple, three days into the week, Gosh, man, I, I just set out for the week and I wanted to do so good, but I'm mad about this. You know, I'm just, I can't stop it. So anyway, I'll let you go.